These camps are epic. We are so fortunate to have experienced some incredible beach camping on our lap around Australia. Hi, I'm Donna and I want to make it easy for you to road trip around Australia. So uh, grab your fishing rods, your bathers and buckle up because these beach camps around Australia are going to blow your mind. Starting in the south, I'm going to say it. If you are doing the lap of Australia, do not sleep on Tasmania. This is just one of the free and many incredible camps in the state. Located in Binalong Bay, this is Swimcart Beach. It's first come, first served here, and there are loads of camps right on the beach and many others just nearby if this spot is full. This is our view, which is absolutely amazing, and our campsite. We've got a waterfront site and it's absolutely free. It's incredible. Um, there are some toilets down there. Drop toilets, so I'd recommend you bring your own toilet paper. And look, there's even a free spot next to us if you want to come. From here, you can explore the stunning Bay of Fires. secret pools and some incredible four-wheel drive sand dunning you can do but just don't get bogged like we did no fires but it is pet friendly next up on our Aussie road trip we are back on the mainland and we are in South Australia at Paloobie Beach. We have camped here on two occasions. On both occasions we managed to snag ourselves one of these barley looking hut things but don't worry if they're all taken it does not matter because you can just keep driving and you can find yourself a sweet little park on the beach. $10 cash per night and you just pop it in the honesty box and there is even flushing toilets here. It's very tidal and it's an ideal place for little kids and you can bring your pets too. Now we head west on our road trip and we get to camp right on the sandy beach here at 14 Mile. Now you're going to want to book six months in advance through Parks WA to get one of these spots. Check out this campsite. It is huge. So we're on site 16. Uh, there's a couple of other sites there, but those people haven't turned up sadly. And this is our view. We've actually got a lot of the campsite to ourselves, actually, because there's a bit of a space between the others. And the beachfront camps are number 14 to 28. I always suggest to check out the camping plan if you're not sure where you want to camp. There's plenty of other tent sites here as well and you can always get a campsite behind the dunes if it's really windy. And the sun is going down over there. Oh, that is stunning. And you're going to need to be self-contained here as Kazera. No facilities. You can have a fire and you can bring your pets. camp spot is located right near Coral Bay if you get itchy feet and you want to have a bit of a cruise around and some great fishing around the bend at Turtle Rock we got some amazing tasting spangos from here you're on bucko oh, I, lost it. I had the best time at this camp bring your mates and bring your snorkels too and you're gonna love it this one is called South Lafroy and it's right on the Ningaloo coast you can swim right out and snorkel right from your camp and step outside the caravan straight into the sand again. Sundowners every night, 
campfires every night. You can even bring your best buddy, your puppy dogs or your cats like we did as it's pet friendly. But once again, you will need to be self-contained because there are no facilities here, no phone reception, and you may want to book yourself six months in advance. Okay, number five on the number five on the list takes us all the way around to Queensland and we're right out here on the Cape York Peninsula. This is called Chili Beach. Now this is a great camp for a little bit of relaxation after your adventures on the Cape York Peninsula and boy did I need this. There is beautiful palm trees and crystal blue water but don't forget this is crop country There is also a bit of rubbish that you can see on the beach. So if you can do it, please bring an extra garbage bag and take a garbage load of, of rubbish home with you and the beach will really love you for it. There's also toilets at this campsite and you're going to want to book through Parks Queensland for this one. I am so passionate about helping families get out there and see Australia. I've only just scratched the surface with these camps. So if you're interested in more videos like this, please comment your state that you live in down below. And in the meantime, if you want to see more, I've actually already made one on best free camps in Tasmania that you can take your pets to. And you should find it here or here. Plus our other hundred vlogs that we've already completed. And of course, subscribe and hit the bell. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next time.